Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will be practicing a previous year question from TCS Code Vita and it has arrived and as I had promised I am going to go ahead and solve questions for you so that you guys actually know what kind of questions actually arrive in the exam and this would help you out in actually preparing for exam. Fine. So, before I go ahead, follow me on this Instagram handle so that you never miss anything from my side and you can directly interact with me on this handle at the rate Shuklaji speaks. Now, straight away moving to the question without wasting any time. In a magical garden, there are rows of flower beds and each flower bed has a number of flowers. So, there is a garden, fine, right, like this. There are rows of flowers, flower beds. Each flower bed has a number of flowers. Each day, a fairy tends to the garden by doubling the number of flowers. For example, these are the flowers. Fine, what kind of bad flower am I drawing? But pardon me for my drawing, I am a CS engineer. Fine. So such flowers you actually have in every row. Fine. So every day, the number of days would be specified. Each day, a fairy comes to the garden by and works by doubling the number of flowers in each flower bed. After a few days, the fairy wants to know how many flowers are there in total at that particular day. You are given the number of flowers in each flower bed at the start and you are also given the number of days the fairy works. Your task is to calculate the total number of flowers in the garden after the given number of days, assuming the flowers in each bed double every day. Fine. So basically what I am saying is, the first line of input would contain an integer n which would specify the number of flower bed. Then in every flower bed, basically in every row, how many flowers are there, fine, this is that, and then how many days did the fairy work? So, if I talk about day one, let's understand the logic first and then we will go ahead on the coding portion. If I talk about day one, you have actually 2, 5 and 7, fine, that's, this is day 0 actually. This is the initial start. So day 0, 2, 5 and 7. Now 3 days the ferry is going to work. So day 1 comes. Fine. Ferry works and it becomes double. So 4, 10 and 7. Then comes day 2 and then day 3. Fine. So on day 2 what does ferry do? Again she works. Flowers double. So this was 4. Then here they become 8. Here they become 20. Here they become 14. Again, when you go ahead, they double up. So this would become 16, fine. This would become 20 and 20, 40, fine. And what else? 14 would become 28, correct? So this would become 28, isn't it? So every time, pardon, I have done a mistake here. So this is actually going to change because on the day 1, this would become 14, on day 2, this would become 28, and then this would become 56, fine. Now understand it carefully. Every day, the flowers were doubling, correct? All you need to do is calculate this particular sum, fine, which is 112, pardon, 112, 112, fine. So this output is actually this sum of the day 3, or whatever day x that is being given to you. So we had been given three days. We had been given three days here. So we had calculated for day three. Remember? So that's very, very important. You need to understand the questions approach. All you need to do is double it and then calculate the sum. That's it. A very easy question, but seems difficult. Let's go ahead and look at the code piece. So I'm defining a total flowers after days function. Right? This would take flowers as input and days and as input. Now if you correctly remember, we have three things in inputs. Here we are having two. How come? See, initially I am taking an integer type input which is the number of days, pardon, the number of flower beds, fine. I am taking the number of flower beds here. Then I am taking another kind of input where I am taking this flowers, fine. I am defining flowers as a list where it would have a map of basically a hash map I'm using where it would have a key value pair of en value pair of flower bed the number of flower beds for example there are three flower beds so one two and three three flower beds every time if I put two five and seven then these are mapped to these keys 
So in the first flower bed there are two flowers. In the second flower bed there are five flowers. In the third flower bed it is seven flowers. So this particular list I have created using a hash map. Fine. And this particular function is basically taking the input for me, which would give me the number of flowers. Then I would take d equals to again I am taking the number of days again an integer type of input. Fine. And then I pass all of this to this function. I basically pass this whole hash map to this function. I pass the number of days to this function. What I do is, I first of all total the sum of flowers. Fine. I actually check the total of sum of flowers. Fine. You are actually getting this 2, 5, 7. So 7 plus 5, how much you get? 12, 12 and 2, 14. Fine. So if you carefully see, what I am actually doing is, I am doubling the flowers for the given number of days. That's it. This is a lambda function that I have used. And anybody who has studied Python from me would understand what exactly is happening here. If you haven't studied, go ahead into the Python playlist. It is free of cost available on YouTube. Study the lambda functions. You will get the complete context of it. Fine. So all you need to do is double the flower for the number of days. And then you basically provide it to the total. Fine. So it would simply do the same thing which we were doing here actually. Fine. And it would keep on doubling, 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 doubling. Fine. Once the doubling happens, each flower beds flower double each day. Fine. So that particular total would be increasing day by day, day by day. Fine. Once it improves, you go ahead and you return the total. Fine. So all you're trying to do is you actually provide total the same thing that I had shown you here. You can write it out in C++ if you want to. If you want to write it out in Java, go ahead, write it out in Java. Fine. I have written the Python code. You go ahead and write it in whatever language you want to. Put it in the comments section and I would personally check it. If it is good, I would simply write it out well. If there is some mistake, I would tell you that. Fine. So that's pretty much about this question. Now, this is a homework question for you. It is a similar question and in the next part two video of this, I would solve this out for you. Don't worry. This would be solved out. But the question is, you are organizing a birthday party and you need to buy balloons for all the guests. Each guest wants a specific number of balloons and you have a special deal. Now, the special deal is a condition. Remember, this is a hint to you. If a guest requests more than five balloons, the number of balloons they will get will be multiplied by two. Fine. To account the special bonus. If they request five or fewer balloons, fine, not balloons, it's balloons. Fine. You will just give them the number they requested. So your task is to calculate the total number of balloons you need to buy for the party after considering the special deal. Fine. So that's pretty much about the question that has been provided to you as a homework. Now, all of you go ahead use this coupon code WebHubMax on Trip Insta Prime. Why am I saying so? Look, I can solve one, two questions for you, but actually you need to go ahead and you need to hop on to prep insta prime fine you simply hop on to this particular website because this has a complete structured course of tcs nqt fine this has a complete structured course pardon not tcs nqt code vita so you have a complete course of tcs code vita all you need to do is just enroll into this everything is sorted from dsa and competitive coding to even the interview preparation, if you get shortlisted in code beta, it is there for you. Fine. So all you need to do is simply click on get prime and then you reach out here to any of these numbers, find any of the number of month subscription that you want to select. You use the coupon code, fine, which is wherever max for maximum discount. So it's a max M A X fine. So this would help you out and it would provide you the maximum discount immediately. Fine. That would help you out. Now, do not waste time in preparing yourself because the time is very less. Utilize the maximum resources and go ahead, follow all the prep insta social media handles that are given to you in the description box of this particular video. Also do subscribe to this channel and I'm also a human being. I can commit mistakes. I can do wrong things. So whatever you felt was bad, leave it to me. But whatever you felt was good, take it with yourself and spread it as far as you can in the society. Keep doing good for others. As I always say, good will come back to you. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.